what actually happens is somebody has an idea. And in order to deploy that idea, in order to make the idea reality, they have to go to a financier and raise some capital. And then that capital is used to pay employees' salaries. Because I don't know very many employees who are willing to work for years and years and years until the company has a profit for nothing. They want to be paid, whether the company's profitable or not. Who's taking, who's paying them? Who's paying them while the company is not making any money? How, how long does it take a biotech company to become profitable? 20 years maybe, 10 years, 15 years? Those scientists, put aside physical laborers, those scientists, they're working for free during that period and just waiting for the company to become profitable and then they'll just take a percentage of the profits, right? No, they want their salaries. So who's paying those salaries? The finance guys, the capitalists. Right? They're paying the salaries, they're paying the equipment, they're paying the rent, they're paying it all. And if you're in biotech, half the time, or maybe 80% of the time, you never achieve profitability, and you'll never get your money back. You're counting on that one where you do, and you make a lot of money on it, right? To compensate for all the ones where you didn't get any. There is no production without the capitalist. There is no production without the financier. There are no jobs in an economy without finance. There are no jobs without the Rothschilds and, the, and all the banks that surround us. The banks create the jobs. They need somebody who has an idea. They need an entrepreneur. But the entrepreneur by himself cannot create the jobs. The jobs are created with a combination of an idea and money, an idea and finance.